Nina Slavic reporting from the Takeoff A News Desk. And why it's a news desk today is because we're going to talk about what's new, what's trending, what's hot, what's in in travel for this coming winter to help you book. So our roving reporter Martha Chapman is on location at a major industry event and she's uh, tagged a few key people to ask them what you should know. Take it away, Martha. Now, Doreen, it seems to me that although Canadians love their packaged vacations, independent travel, even to some destinations, is growing as well. Absolutely. There are many, many people in the, in the demographic that are looking for filling that bucket list, and the FIT component that uh, the Thomas Cook Group has totally fills that with an interior product, network, boomerang, exotic. That kind of package holiday that you can bring to the flexible nature with FIT is perfect. We should just explain FIT means independent travel, sort of like a Chinese menu where you purchase the components separately. And what are the big FIT destinations, Doreen? Well, obviously the Orient is very popular. Egypt is, is coming back as well. And I think a lot of people are looking to do the soft adventure type holiday where they may be going more to South America. They're actually traveling more inland, doing a little more exotic Russia. Things, as I said, the bucket list mentality, I think the older you get, the bucket list kind of comes up a little bit more frequently. Not that's myself, of course, but <laughs> that's just great. Thank you so much, okay, Doreen. You're welcome. Here we are with Phil Sproul of TPI talking about trends for this coming winter's travel. Yeah, what we see this winter uh, so far is uh, demand has actually been pretty strong. Um, cruise business is really up. Uh, we're seeing that right across the board, um, and uh, certainly, uh, you know, a lot of the uh, the Caribbean is selling well. Mexico's doing well again. Um, I still think there's a lot of capacity out in the market, so I think that the uh, the last minute deals will still be there. But the advanced sales look positive, and cruise sales are really gone up uh, through the roof. I'm here with Christine James of Vacation.com talking about the hot, hot sellers for Canadians each winter. Thanks, Martha. Well, as I said to you, I think that the traditional destinations are still holding very strong. You know, places like Cuba and Mexico are, are still booking very, very well for the winter. And I think the reason being is Canadians are comfortable with that destination. They know they're going to get great value for their dollar and they're going to get good service at destination. And let's face it, it's a great product. And I think the climate doesn't hurt either, does well, it? No, and I think that's the reason why. I mean, you know, my counterparts in the U.S. always joke that the reason why our winters uh, bookings con continue to outperform in the U.S. is because our weather is more severe and our Canadians have to get away for the winter. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. In your department, you decide where Canadians are going to go on their winter vacations. What's new this year at Thomas Cook? Well, uh, we started with uh, looking at the, the different destinations. We're adding Cartagena, which is a, a fantastic destination. Yes, in, uh, in Cartagena, yes, in Colombia. And uh, but really, what's set, setting us apart this year is creating something within the actual hotels that have been in existence for many years. So a separate section which gives the clients something more. It's like a, having a resort within a resort, like a boutique resort within a resort. And that's what we're striving for in almost all of our destinations, whether it be Punta Cana, Cancun, Jamaica, and so on. That sounds just great. Thank you very much. Now, Rita, I think we've seen the destination wedding business really explode over the past few years. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure, of course. And we've recognized that it's a destination that people want to come to. Um, with the cost of weddings now, I know in metropolitan areas going up to almost 100000 brides and grooms are being a little bit more price sensitive. So for less than that price, you can have a wonderful vacation experience as well as a wonderful experience to your weddings. By going to places such as Jamaica offers a wonderful uh, opportunity for destination weddings. The cruise lines are coming up with some really good good incentives for the bride and groom, and of course the standards, your Cancun and your Punta Cana will never fail a bride or groom. Thank you very much.